Happily divorced is shot before a live audience. Oh, hurry up, boys. This is it. Judy's commercial's about to begin. This is it. Quiet. Oh. When your lady parts have taken a snooze, get yourself some estrogen chew. <laughs> <laughs> in the old days, no one believed in this hormone crap. Women just turned into men. <laughs> oh, Judy, I think you're gonna get a lot of work from this. Next, you'll be doing Activia commercials and those pants that ladies use when they pee a little after they laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm headed home now. Oh, no, Cezanne, stay. We just poured champagne for everyone. Oh, no, I can't. I promised my wife I'd go home because her mother's coming. Oh, hell, yeah, I'll have some bubbly. <laughs> so, Judy, who is that great-looking guy that played your husband? His name is Scotty. He lives on Sweetser, and he has a puggle that wears a Burberry sweater. That's him. He brought the dog to the set. I was hitting on him all day. Why didn't he just say he was gay? You couldn't put the pieces of the puggle together. <laughs> the truth. Judy, it's not something you can just blurt out. You think I just woke up and said I'm gay? No, you woke me up instead. <laughs> Fran, come on. We have guests. You really want to get into all the... Okay, the all right. You're right. Tonight's Judy's night. <laughs> <laughs> but I've always been curious. Why? Why that night after 18 years of marriage did you decide it was the perfect night to rip my kishkas out? <laughs> Fran, it's old news. Come on, the point is I came out. Who really cares about the details? <laughs> Look, all I remember is coming back from my therapist's office and forcing myself to put on a happy face and act like everything was fine. Oh, God. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> In the closet. Therapy. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. well, so what did he say about those headaches that you're having? Yeah, he said there's a possibility that I'm not getting enough sleep. Well, of course you're not getting enough sleep. I mean, you spend half the night having those terrible nightmares where you're screaming at Ryan Gosling. <laughs> What's he doing to you in those dreams? Franny, uh, you know what? I'm really not supposed to talk about this. It's a doctor-patient confidentiality. Oh, that's for the doctor, not for you. You know, sweetie, I've been thinking. I mean, you've been going to him for six years already. Maybe it's time we think about you switching. I don't want to switch. I like things the way they are. Want to have intercourse? OK. <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh, crap. Judy. Uh, Judy, how'd the audition go? They said I was all wrong for the character. Oh, sweetie, I'm so sorry. What was the part? Black woman. <laughs> oh, come on, Judy. What do they know? You know, the head of MGM said Judy Garland was too fat and she had a hump. How do you know so much about Judy Garland? Just stuff guys know. Judy. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't we go to Victoria's Secrets? We could pretend it's our birthdays to get the free panties. <laughs> nah, they're on to me. Just like every casting agent is in this business. You know, I haven't got it. I'm not wasting any more time going on auditions. I'm done. 
Oh no, Judy, you're crazy. You're so talented. You will regret that decision for the rest of your life, like I did. Why do you think I decided not to go to Juilliard? Because you can't sing, you can't dance, and you can't act. <laughs> Says them. I'm sorry, friend. My mind is made up. Hey, Judy, don't you think you should take some time and think about this? Come on, you walk into an office, one person says this devastating news, and you're just supposed to accept it? Yeah. Did it ever occur to you that the man could be wrong? Yeah. You can play black woman. You're an actress. <laughs> Judy, I just don't think it's smart to just rush into a life-changing decision like this. Listen to him. Yeah, take some time. Think about it. Take a week. Take a month. 18 years. <laughs> what kind of a schnook takes 18 years to make a decision? Judy, who do you think we're talking about? Don't make this about me, Fran. What's the matter with you? I don't know. Ask my therapist. Don't. <laughs> It's time I took a long, hard look in the mirror and faced the truth about myself. I'm sorry, but it's damn obvious what I need to do. You know what? She's right. She does need to do those things. <laughs> you know what? It's her life, and we just need to butt out. Butt out. <laughs> Well, obviously, all of this led to me telling Fran. I just don't remember what the exact trigger was. I remember I had my usual oatmeal that morning. I had switched to the lactate because I was having... Stomach. Pete! <laughs> when the hell are you coming out already? I've been listening to this saga for 45 minutes. At my age, that's a big chunk of what I got left. Daddy, give him a chance. He's trying to tell a story. But he has a point. You know, Hans Christian Andersen, speed it up. <laughs> Franny, I don't know what you're hoping to hear. Look, is this really important anyway? Listen to your husband. What does it matter why he did what he did when he did it? He's not doing you. Move on. <laughs> Fran, look, I'm sorry. I can't remember every little detail of a very turbulent time in my life. It's not like I had a tape recorder running 24-7 to get every little word. No, you didn't, but I have a feeling we've got the next best thing. <laughs> why are you looking at me? It was unusually warm that day. <laughs> we were sitting in the flower shop. Hola, Mr. Peter. Oh, hey, Cesar. Uh, your wife told me to order lunch for us. Would you like a taco or would you prefer a burrito? What's that supposed to mean? What have you heard? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just giving you a choice. It's not a choice. I am a taco man and I shall stay a taco man. <laughs> Oh, hi, girls. Where you been? Oh, I'm just coming back with Judy from my new job at the Short Stack Pancake House. I had a Belgian waffle, buttermilk pancakes, and cream cheese-filled French toast to show how supportive I am of her new life. You know, half a grapefruit is just as supportive. You know nothing about friendship, Peter. Well, you do, Franny, because I know how much you were against me giving up singing and getting a regular job. Judy, if you're happy, I'm happy. But out. <laughs> well, I'm happy. For the first time in my life, I've got money in my pockets. Actually, I've got money in my new purse. Oh. I've got these sunglasses. I've got new shoes. Ooh, new perfume. <laughs> you smell great. What is that? Bacon. Well, Judy, it looks like you made the right decision. Mm -hmm. And all of this after just four days of serving pancakes. <laughs> Are they still hiring? Well, actually, I got a promotion. Check out my tag. Assistant manager. <laughs> it says ass manager. <laughs> congratulations. Yeah, congratulations, Judy. Well done. Thank you, Petey. Well, I gotta go. I picked up another shift. You know, when you're gainfully employed, they just give you credit cards. I'm living a dream, baby! <laughs> living a dream! What are you doing? Why are you encouraging her? Judy is a performer. She's repressing her true self. Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, you know, it's easier being a waitress. It's, it's acceptable, and it's respectable, and it makes everybody happy. So from now on, when someone dangles a big microphone in front of her face, she just has to say to herself, no, I am a waitress. Hey, 
wait a minute. Did you get into our special brownies? Because I was saving that for New Year's. No. Well, I know you, Peter. Something's up. What is it? Is it work? No. Is it me? Oh, God, no. Are you regular? <laughs> I'm trying to be. <laughs> Anyway, that's how I remember it. At least, that's all I heard through the refrigerator glass because this was before I tricked you into installing those vents. <laughs> okay, this is why you shouldn't drink at work functions. But you know, Pete, you were so angry that day and I kept thinking, is it me? But I'd never done a single horrible thing to you that I didn't cover my tracks on. Fran, it was not you, it was everything I was going through. Must have been torture for you. Oh, my God, Dory, I just got a text. Our complex is on fire. We need to go. Dory, your phone doesn't get texting. You didn't want to pay the $1.99 a month, remember? I'm paying for it now. <laughs> the thing that gets me, Pete, is that you did everything but hold up a sign. Was I a total idiot? Fred, I was freaking out, and I was not being direct with you. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Well, that's true. I guess at the time, none of us knew. Well... I just know that Judy is making a huge mistake. Maybe she wasn't meant to be a performer, just like you. What are you saying? I stunk? No, you just did. But you said you loved me when I was in Dreamgirls at the temple. It's because your mother and I are wonderful actors. Which is why it's so surprising you stunk. <laughs> okay, okay, we're talking about Judy here. I gotta convince her not to give up on herself. And Peter's no help, the big dope keeps agreeing with her. I don't know who he is anymore. Lately, it seems like we're on opposite teams. Really? Really? Opposite teams? And why do you think that is? I have no idea. I don't know what's gotten into him. Let's just say that Peter might be going through some inner turmoil. I knew a guy like that in the army. Oh, really? What was his story? I didn't ask, and he didn't tell. So what does that have to do with Peter? Why do you keep looking at each other? We're in love, darling. Now, if you really want to know what's going on with your husband, sit down and ask him. While well, your breasts are still perky. Peter's not a boob man. Makes sense. And besides, what does that have to do with Peter and I fighting over Judy's decision? Look, sweetheart, no person can ever deny who they truly are. The truth eventually comes out. Oh, ma. I think now I know what you've been trying to tell me. Hella frickin' Luya. <laughs> now, you gotta figure out a way to give the truth a little nudge. You're so right, Ma. Yes. I gotta nudge Judy into singing again so she can stop being in denial. <laughs> then Peter and I can go back to our normal happy lives. See you later. Maybe that deviated septum goes all the way up to her brain. Hey. Hey. Nice place. Yeah, I thought because we were taking Judy out to celebrate her promotion, we might as well try someplace new. And? And what? And why does that sign say open mic night? Oh, for heaven's sakes, I have no idea. Oh, yeah, I hope Judy doesn't think that I invited her here on purpose just so that I could get her. Oh, another... cut the crap. Who are you talking to? All right, all right, just play along, would you? Ooh, that's a good-looking burger. Why have we never eaten here? Because it's a gay bar. What's the matter? Why'd you get all stiff? I'm not stiff, nothing stiff. I like women. So, now the story is picking up. 
Pete, your first time in a man bar. <laughs> so did you take anyone home that night? Yeah, me. <laughs> Why are you looking up at the ceiling? I don't want to make eye contact with any of the guys here. I don't want to turn them on. Please. The only reason why any of these guys would want to rip your clothes off is because they were appalled by a sweater vest and corduroys. <laughs> hey, guys. Hi. First round is on me on my new Korean Air Visa card. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Oh, no. This is on us. You're not paying for anything. We're here to celebrate your new life. So you bring me to a gay bar? <laughs> Just how new did you think my life was gonna get? <laughs> Judy, we're just so proud of you. You made such a life-changing decision. You know, it takes a lot of guts, a lot of people. Oh, look at this. It's open mic night. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, look. <laughs> this is why you drag my ass down here? You think I'm gonna get on the stage and sing and get the bug all over again? That's the plan. <laughs> well, that's a bad plan, because I don't do that anymore. And even if I did, when I sing, you know, I have certain standards. What? Holding a sack of pancakes with a candle in it? <laughs> Come on, Judy. Do it for me. Really? Are you guys kidding? Hey, I had nothing to do with it, Judy. I didn't choose this place. Why would I? I would have chosen Hooters. Judy, you can't deny who you really are. You've got to follow your heart, or you'll never be happy. Right? Right. Now, I put your name on the list, and I even chose our song. If you don't get up there and sing, I will. Hey, hey, hey. Don't threaten me. <laughs> All right. OK, boys, I'm going to dedicate this song to the person that's making me sing it. <laughs> where Judy belongs. This is who she really is. To thine own self be true. There's one thing I know. It's people. <laughs> so, the only reason that Mr. Peter had the courage to come out is because you pushed Miss Judy. So he didn't ruin your life, you ruined your own life. <laughs> I'll make it easy on you, I quit. You know, Cesar's right. That was it. That's what gave me the guts to tell you that night. How about that? If I hadn't done what I did, we'd still be living as man and wife instead of man and schmuck. <laughs> Isn't that funny? It's one of those great stories we'll tell our grand... <sighs> Never mind. So we don't have grandchildren. We have whatever the hell this is. Fran, you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Petey, I'm... I'm... I'm glad that I helped you to find your true self. I... I am. I really couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Fran. And you do know I love you. I always have and I always will. Yes. Me too, you. Mm. Oh. Can you imagine what it would be like if I hadn't come out? Oh, he would have been so frustrated. We would have started bickering. Mm. Then we would have slept in separate bedrooms, not having sex, stuck in this house together. Mm. I did we dodge a bullet.
Uh-oh. <laughs>